greatest props to you. I mean, how many of you would agree to that? I like to pause here and just say both are true. Can you remember holding your child for the first time? Marveling at the miracle of new life. I'm talking about the pastor right here. And thinking that God had entrusted you to care and keep this little bundle of life. Can you remember your joy and the overwhelming feeling that you had when you held your baby? Talk to me if you would. But I wonder what our homes would be like if we really loved our children the way the Bible teaches us to love them. How would we show our love? Talk to me, somebody. Number one, treat our children as a blessing and not as burdens. I just want to say that again. We need to treat our children as blessings and not burdens. Can I say right here that sometimes our children are treated like baby kids? Talk to me, Pastor. And sometimes they act like baby kids. Somebody's looking pretty lost. Let me help you out. An urban dictionary tells us that a baby kid is a ghetto child. First of all, we really need to love our children. Somebody say love. love. We need to treat our children as a blessing and not as a burden. And I just want to be honest right here and say things don't always go the way you like them to go. Preach past the I think I'll be Sometimes it's getting, uh, it gets a little difficult. Sometimes your kids bring bad grades home. Sometimes your kids bring bad drama. Sometimes they bring home issues. Sometimes they bring trouble. And sometimes they bring home weed and drugs. And sometimes we look up, they bring home babies. All my children. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Sometimes there is difficulty in the home and relationships aren't always what they should be. Do you realize today more than one of every four children are being raised by a single parent? Now let me clear this up because I'm not trying to belittle the single parents. All the single ladies make some noise. I want to just let you know that you have double duty and I salute you for what you're doing. But this does tell me something. Whenever a child lives in a home where there's only one parent, the parent usually has to work. And it tells me that many times that the child comes home to where there is no demonstration of love, care, or reassurance. Talk to me, somebody. We're here today, and we're, we're experiencing a lot, of, a lot of our children are unwanted. For the Bible says in Psalms 127, sons are an heritage from the Lord. Children are a reward from him. I wish I had somebody here today. Like arrows in the hand of the warrior are sons born and one's youth. Number one, treat your children as a blessing and not as a burden. I'm almost done here. Number two, realize that your children need to know our deep love and concern. If that's too deep for you, you need to love your children. Secondly, if we need to, if we want to love them, we need to recognize that our children need to know that we are what our deep love and concern is for them. Now, I'm talking about more than just providing food, clothes, and shelter. But I'm talking about taking the time to get to know your child. Look beyond the surface and see what your child is deep down inside. I wish I had a church up here. Here we go. One, treat your children as a blessing and not a burden. Number two, realize that your children need to know how to be loved deeply. Number three, I want to get up out of here again. Provide children with spiritual guidance and leadership. That's a hard one right there, Pastor. If we're really going to love them, we need to provide our children with spiritual guidance and leadership in their lives. For the Bible tells us to train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he gets older, he will not depart from them. Maybe you might need to stop my car right now. Because we need to realize that by the age of 18, our children have watched at least 17,000 hours of television. Talk to me, somebody. They've watched 150,000 cases of violence and 225,000 murder performed right before their very eyes. Now, the greatest debate going on today is whether television has an influence on the child or not all my children. Listen, people, if you 
Bless the Lord at all times. 